कैन कुड विल वुड शैल शुड मे माइट वेन टू यूज दैम एंड वेयर आर दे कन्फ्यूजिंग दीज आर कॉल्ड मोडल वर्ब्स एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो यू गोइंग टू लर्न टू रिमेंबर दैम एंड दे यूज इट इन जस्ट फाइव मिनट्स विद मे बिफोर आई स्टार्ट एंड डाइव इन टू द टॉपिक आई डू वन टेल यू अबाउट दिस इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग कोर्स दैट वी लॉन्च लास्ट मंथ नाउ द ग्रेट थिंग इज दैट वीव एडेड एन ई बुक टू इट इट हैज अ वराइटी ऑफ एक्सरसाइजेज एंड हैज हंड्रेड्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस which can make you practice not just your prepositions your tenses your sentence construction everything together it is available on alinarays.com you can make your purchase today if you want to now let's get into the topic because i have some great information to share with you let's dive in in technical terms modal verbs are auxiliary verbs that express possibility necessity ability permission request obligation or advice but let me show you with examples and then you will easily understand primarily there are nine modal verbs there are some extras of which i'm going to be talking about right towards the end of the video but for now let's start with the first nine modal verbs can expressing ability i can swim that means i'm able to swim it can also be used for asking for permission can i swim can i use your phone and lastly it can be used for offering or suggesting you can try this dish i'm allowing you offering you you can try this dish i'm suggesting to you because it's good you can try this dish next we come to brother of can could it denotes past ability i could swim when i was 5 years old or it can be used for a polite request could you please pass the salt next is suggestion it can also be used for suggesting you could visit the museum if you are interested in art and lastly it can be used for possibility it could rain today next we come to will it can be used for future i will go to the store or it can be used for a promise i will help you would this is conditional it can be used to express condition i would go if i had time or again this can also be used for a polite request just like could would you like some coffee you remember could you pass me the salt would you like some coffee so a polite request i'm just trying to connect would and could here to show you the comparison that they both can be used for polite request okay would can be used for a habit in the past when i was a kid i would go fishing every summer next it can be used for an imagined situation what do i mean by this example sentence i would travel the world if i won the lottery next we have shall on the list this is used for offering a suggestion shall we dance or it can also be used for determination we shall overcome what better example to give to indians no we shall overcome we shall overcome we shall overcome some day acha tha <laughs> next is should this is used for advice you should study for the exam or it can also be used for expectation they should be here by now next we have may may on the list this is used for a possibility like many other modal verbs okay it may snow tomorrow it is also used for permission may i come in you may sit down may i sit down now may and can both can be used for asking permission it's it's okay to use either okay so don't confuse yourself unnecessarily can i sit down may i sit down may is just slightly more polite you may say so yeah may sounds better in formal situations yeah might now this is very interesting it is used for lesser possibility it might rain tomorrow but i doubt it and it can also be used for giving a suggestion you might try the cake suggesting you might try it and lastly we come to must this is the last one on the list of 9 and it is used to express necessity i must finish this project i must finish this video it is also used for strong advice you must see that movie 
कौन सी मूवी हो सकती है जो हम कहें यू मस्ट सी इट कौन हो फिल्म ना ही देखें हम जो हम कह सकें कि मस्ट है देख ही ले एंड लास्टली इट कैन बी यूज फॉर एक्सप्रेसिंग अ लॉजिकल कंक्लूजन इट मस्ट बी हर फोन शी लेफ्ट इट ऑन द टेबल सो जनरली देर आर दीज नाइन मॉडल वर्ब्स बट समाइम्स दीज एक्स्ट्राज आर ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड लाइक हैव टू नाउ हैव टू इज यूज फॉर एक्सप्रेसिंग ऑब्लिगेशन आई हैव टू गो टू द डॉक्टर्स टू मोरो ऑब्लिगेशन आई हैव टू गो नेक्स्ट इज नीड टू now need to is very similar to have to it is also used to express necessity i need to complete this i need to see her i need to eat this i need to take my medicines last on the list of extras is ought to this is used similarly to should so in place of should you can use ought to just a fancy way of saying should it denotes it indicates obligation and advisability you ought to finish your work tomorrow you ought to go to her you ought to do this you ought to do that so you should do this you should do that sometimes two modal verbs can be used together to express a specific idea something like you shouldn't have to pay for his mistakes something like this okay so should and have to all have been used together so you shouldn't have to pay for his mistakes sometimes some modal verbs can be used interchangeably because there's quite some overlap it's absolutely okay do not be too pedantic about it just let it be just use the word that comes naturally to you do not bother too much about this okay it's absolutely all right so a little bit of may or can here and there works perfectly fine no issues Basically the importance of modal verbs come in when you have to express a certain meaning mood or tone of the thing that you're speaking about or the thing that you're mentioning whatever you're expressing so yes they do help you in expressing the tone in expressing your meaning and your mood as well so that's where their importance actually come in okay that's all about it thank you very much i'll see you again soon bye bye